Hello Terraria enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to our Terraria Christmas adventure. It's day 17 and uh, and I thought instead of actually doing an episode on Plantera, I thought today we could actually do an episode on events in Terraria because we've actually skipped uh, the pirate invasion and we also skipped the dungeon defenders event. And then we also skipped Slime Rain, so I thought we could do an episode doing some of the events. Um, and the main reason for that, honestly, is because we missed them, and I actually don't have a Plantera Bulb in my world yet. You see, Plantera Bulbs grow over time, so even though you can actually have one in your world, it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to grow straight away, so I find it's best just to leave it for a little while. I actually did take the time to clear out an area and create a platform, uh, a platform is probably all I need, but you know what? Event episode it is. And I think it's going to be a good one. So, we're going to start off with the Dungeon Defenders event. We're going to get some free Eternia Crystals. And we're going to see what happens. So, the only problem with this, guys, is that I actually haven't done the event in... Van uh, not vanilla. In the beginning of the game. So, I don't have any Defender Medals to buy any of these basic weapons, essentially. I mean, I've got enough for this... But that's really about it. So I'm not going to have all the uh, medals required to actually have a good arena. So I'm probably not going to beat it straight away. But we will see. So I'm probably going to buy the Lightning Aura Staff. Yeah, that'll do. The Lightning Aura Staff. And I'm going to see what happens as we continue onwards. I'm going to use some basic potions today. Hey, look at Amarok. I'm going to use some basic potions today because I was like, well, why not? I mean, it makes it a little bit easier. And like I said, this will help in the long run because it means that we will have a, uh, basically, a better chance at uh, getting the Plantera Bulb. Okay, that's all the reason you need to know. So, let's lay it out, like, here. See if we can uh, put it down and get it to work. I don't know if this arena is big enough. I always underestimate this, so let's see. Okay. The area uh, rejects this area and pops away instantly. The tavern keep mentioned it should rest in a large, flat, open area. Hmm. Well, this is kind of large and flat. I mean, if I closed over the elevator, maybe that would help. We'll see. Let me grab some. Let me grab some dirt. Let's grab some dirt. Uh, we'll grab some from here. Grab some dirt and we'll close it all off. But this should work. Theoretically, you know. I, I am a man of science, so theoretically, this should work. <laughs> Let's see, though. I'm just getting absolutely battered by these slimes, by the way. I'm just letting them do it. Because it's fine. Never mind. Ah, get away from me, slimes. Get away. Yeah. Let's try it like this. And then let's move it. Let's move it to, like, here. Okay, got it to work. Buff up. So, we're going to do a Nimbus Rod Cloud over here. And we're going to do one over here. We're also going to put down our Aura Staff there. We've got our, uh, our summons out. Actually, oh, you can't build, so I can't get the buff. Oh, no. And let's see what our weapons do. I don't know if we're strong enough, admittedly. This, uh, this actually gets a buff as you do the mechanical bosses. So, it's literally into the buff territory. So we'll see. I need an elaborate arena, maybe. But it's not going to happen, is it? Okay, let's see what we can do against these guys. I mean, it's only wave one. And already I'm kind of, like, noticing a pushback. Oh, the slimes... Oh, the slimes can destroy it. I completely forgot about that. Well, we'll get a uh, we'll get a slime king at some point during this fight, then. Because of all the slimes we're going to have to eventually kill. Oh, my God. All right, we'll do an aura staff there. Oh my, <laughs> I was a little bit unprepared, unprepared for this one, wasn't I? Just a bit, just a bit. We'll just keep putting these out and see what happens. I can't believe that these are, uh, it shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't have random slimes defeating it. But then I guess it's like, well, you signed up for this. Oh my god, look at these, uh, the bomber ones. The bomber ones are horrible, aren't they? Crazy, crazy. See, I mentioned the other day how they probably didn't add the uh, the exploding snowman because, you know, it's a bit insensitive. But look at that, they actually do have them in the game. I completely forgot these were even in it. I'm not gonna lie. Is it already- <laughs> It already got defeated! Really? Wow. 
Well, I did terrible. I did absolutely terrible then. I can't believe I did it that bad. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Oh my god. I can't believe that. <laughs> I did such a poor attempt then. It's actually mad. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Well, attempt number one was uh, was pretty pretty naff. Uh, I didn't get any medals for uh, for losing either. Unfortunately. Oh no. I can't believe that. Well, I want to uh I want to get everything for uh the the pirate invasion. So, I'm going to head to Yeah, I'm going to head right at the world and I'm going to see if I can get a blue candle on the way. And I'll go farm out for a uh, a pirate map because that's one of the invasions I want to do. But I can't believe that. Absolutely got dominated. So, like I mentioned yesterday, guys, all of these episodes now are pre-recorded until I get back on Tuesday. Now, this one's really, really important, so I would honestly appreciate it if you would uh, definitely listen to this section with uh, with uh, intense listening. <laughs> Essentially, tomorrow, I'm going to be in an area. Why did I keep almost saying the area? It really does my head in that. Okay, so I'm going to be at Yogscast headquarters doing a charity live stream from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. GMT. But I'll leave a link down below to the timetable so that you can take a look at it on the fly. Uh, but I would really appreciate it if we actually had some friendly faces out there. So if you've got the time, please come and check it out. It'll be over on the Yogscast Twitch account. And, uh, and it's all raising money for charity. And the way you raise money uh, in this situation is you can donate onto the Humble Bundle store and you can buy the Yogscast bundle. And for a certain amount, you actually get a bunch of Steam games. Like, you get a bunch of games and you also get a bunch of content for those games. As well as some badges for TF2. And honestly, it also goes to a great cause. So, if you can check that out and support that, I'll leave all the links down below. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see me on the Monday. Uh, and you can, you know, you can always watch it later on if you do miss it. So, there you go. <laughs> now you're all informed. Okay, so what I'm planning here is I'm just gonna try and hope for a pirate map. I actually, how does, oh there you go, Slime Kings are work, awesome. I was about to say, how does it work? Can you actually get the pirate map from any enemy in the ocean biome? Or does it have to be, does it have to be from this? From one of the, like, the sharks or like the jellyfish? Because I'm actually unsure, I don't actually have a clue. Okay, so that's one event done, that's the slime rain done. Awesome. I don't know if that cancels the slime rain event. I think it does. But we'll see. Okay, slime has stopped falling from the sky, so I'm guessing it does. Open it up. Some terrible accessories. Yeah, you get some terrible stuff for that event, I think. They really should improve it a little bit. You know, it is pretty bad. You know, getting royal gel is, is naff. Why, why do you need royal gel? It don't make any sense to me. Crazy, right? I'm gonna stand here for a little bit and farm, guys, and uh, I'll maybe speed this up and I'll let you know what happened. Okay, so it's 1 a.m. and I have my pirate map. Um, so let's actually have a crack at the pirate invasion. Let's see how we do. So I'm currently gone back to my melee setup. I've got the melee helmet and the the Titan glove, but I'm not too sure how else I'm gonna do because I'm using an icicle. And an icicle is not great, but let's see. We'll take a uh, we'll take a sugar cookie. Oh, do you know what? I never actually took these buffs. Oh, unless I but I had two. Okay, so I had two of them. That's fair enough. So let's wait for the pirate invasion. Um, right. So if you if you're wondering what I would like from the pirate invasion, well, I would quite like a discount card because that would make purchasing things just a little bit cheaper. Uh, I'd happily have a pirate staff. Uh, what else would I have? I would happily have a bunch of money, essentially. Just a bunch of loot. A bunch of loot would go a long way. Okay, so we'll do one over... We'll, we'll do we'll do two kind of in the middle. Then we can kind of, uh, kind of bounce them around here. Can you do one... You get one free summon, right? Or can you not use these during... Oh, you can, but I don't think I'm allowed. Okay. Alright, let's see how we do against these guys. Oh! P pirate staff straight away. What a say. It's the first thing I wanted. 
These guys are good, right? They're not, they're not bad. They best be better than what I've got. Otherwise, this ain't worth it. Oh no, they probably are though, to be honest. That's quite lucky that. When you usually do a pirate invasion, you say, oh, I want this. You never end up getting it. The pirate invasion is notorious for never giving you a, a discount card and never giving you uh, anything you want. <laughs> but the good thing is about pirate invasions is that the furniture that you actually get... Oh, what? The furniture that you actually get is very, very uh, uh, well-priced. You can actually sell it on for quite a lot of money. I was running to my nurse, by the way. I was running to my nurse because I was like, I'm going to die if I don't get healed. Let's see, though. Let's buff up for this one. Let's do... Uh, let's get a buff. Let's get the pirates going again. A little, a little pirates. Let's carry on with the clouds. And let's keep going. Let's not stop. Uh, oh, okay. We've got a pirate captain out here. Not good, because I'm not great with these. If you keep getting them on the knockback, though, they're not bad, other. Isn't that the way to do it? You have to keep knocking them back, keep attacking them right in their face. Yeah, okay. That didn't work either. I'm not very prepared for this. <laughs> I I expected more of myself. It's alright, we're 20% of the way through. Not bad. Not bad. I'm glad I put the lava trap down because it is actually working a little bit. You know what I could just deal with? Just a, a nice bit of health, right? Some some pirates. Uh so how do you how do you use these? Uses 10 mana to summon more than one. Cannot be used without Eternian mana until the Eternian crystal has been defeated. Ah, right. Okay, so you can use it outside of combat. Ah, that's interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's actually pretty interesting. Makes a lot of sense though, doesn't it? Let's be honest. That seems pretty fair to me. Can't use the, the weapons until you've actually beaten the event. Because otherwise, it'd just be a free weapon at that point. Because you could get the... Uh, you could get the guy, couldn't you? And then literally get yourself a free summoning weapon for doing nothing. Ah, clever. Trari devs, man. They think of absolutely everything. They think of things you wouldn't think of, I, I swear. Okay. I got a cutlass. I'm happy with a cutlass, although I'm not going to use it anyway. Okay, let's see if I can finish this guy off. You get a lot of health, don't they? They get a lot, a lot of health. And I got another Amarok, which is not bad. I'm just going to put all my money in the chest, though. Quick stack. Okay, I'm gonna come out of here now. I'm kind of getting a little bit, a little bit cowardly. What can you also get? Can you get the cracker from the, uh, from the captain, the parrot cracker? Is that what it's called? Pretty sure it is. That's what we call them in Britain, crackers, like Jacob's crackers. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right, we'll do that. To be honest, being away from the uh, the nurse is like a really bad idea in this event for me right now. Let's do let's do two rain clouds like that. Will they will they be will they jump up? That's the question. I don't feel like they will. Let's let's just keep with this strat. The only thing that can really hurt us is a captain, because when a captain will come in it will shoot upwards. Whereas all the other stuff doesn't shoot upwards. Well my little pirate is not doing anything. Maybe I should have gone back to this. Got rid of the pirates. Done two of these instead. I don't know. I know that the, the pirate staff is above the optic staff. But some of the summoning AI is so random. It's like the spiders seem to latch on, and I like that about the spiders, but some of the other NPC, some of the other summons don't even latch on at all. Let's see if I can kill this pirate captain just by like standing here. Cause this is working out quite well. I mean I killed all my NPCs to get this to work. But at what point does the uh, <laughs> does the big giant ship appear? That's my question. It should be soon, right? Okay, almost dead and dead. Okay, we'll take the uh, we'll take the money. A golden workbench. Can you actually use that to craft? Hmm, I wonder. I don't think I've ever used it. Oh, I need my uh, my summons on. Yeah, I I honestly don't think I've ever used it. Hmm, interesting. Right, I'm going to make sure that I keep putting all the money away. Quick stacking it up. <laughs> oh, God. I love how this episode has started off with great intentions. It started off with the intentions of, right, let's do a bunch of events we haven't done. 
will kill a bunch of time until the uh, Plantera fight. But it actually turned out to be quite hard, to be honest. I wasn't expecting the uh, the invasion, the uh, the old one's army, to be so difficult. But then again, I guess it has literally just been buffed because we just defeated the mechanical bosses. And then with this event, I didn't expect to have to want to sit in here as all the enemies just kind of roll through the door. My clicking finger, though, is absolutely falling off. There's so much clicking to be done. Phew. All right, well, we're 70% of the way through. The lava trap is great. I love the lava trap. We built it in, like, episode two, and it's just really paid off from the whole series. <laughs> like, other than when we had the snowmen, which melt slowly, apparently, it's literally paid off of every single night we've spent in the game. You know, every single little event. Every time we've had, like, a blood moon or anything like that, or getting some early stuff from the presents. I love the lava, the lava pool. Oh my god. Do you think this happened because I came out of the house? I shouldn't have gone out of the house. Okay, let's begin with this. Let's see how we do with uh, a bow. I'm honestly not too sure on the actual uh, the difficulty of this thing with a bow. This might actually be quite hard. Let's try a yo-yo. Or one of these. That's it. Got icicled. Fool. Oh no, 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 no. I thought it was going to run straight into our, uh, our house then. If it just st if it sticks here, can it actually hit you? Oh, I don't think it can. So you could do that, right, technically? Oh, that's kind of mad. I, wouldn't, I didn't know that was a thing. So if I put one there and one there... Oh, that's strange. I didn't know you could do that. That's a good little, like, uh, a good little escape from doing it, isn't it? It's not bad, is it? <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit cheap, don't get me wrong, but... Still. Can you just... Wait. Oh, it got stuck again. Is that one too close? We'll, we'll have to see. Alright, so let's do one there and one there. That is genuinely bizarre. That kind of blows my mind that they can get stuck. I mean, I'm getting killed a little bit here. That is kind of crazy. I mean, because you could literally just kind of camp out here for a little bit and be like, all right, I'll be chilling. What did I get killed by? <laughs> Santa James couldn't put the fire out. Was I on fire? I didn't even realize. <laughs> that is strange. I feel like that's a big design flaw, isn't it? That's cool. I imagine people have already figured this out. I imagine this is old news to some. That you can trap them. Oh wow, I'm, I'm kind of getting good at it. At trapping them at least, that's what I mean. Okay, then you come over here and relax. Get out your summons. Let's swap those summons for these. Well, I have really learned something today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually, like, properly mind-blown. The amount of times I've suffered through that event, not getting anything good. Not bad. I actually got pretty much everything I wanted, other than the discount card, which I know is rarer. That, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. And look, I got a bunch of furniture, a bunch of presents. You know what, that was a really great start. That was good, that was good. So now I can sell it all. Let's see how much it sells for. I've got 23 gold at the minute anyway. So let's see. I'm going to sell these because I'm not going to use the cutlasses, by the way. Well, we're up to uh, 47, so not bad, is it? Sell the Amarok for 4 gold. Let's open some of these presents. Are there any of these we need to sell? I need to start selling some stuff because I've got too much, ironically. Oh, they don't even sell for anything. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll quick stack all that. And I guess uh, we'll have one more attempt. We'll have one more attempt at the Old One's Army. And we'll call it a day there, guys. Because that's been pretty action-packed. I've liked it. I've liked it. Yeah, let's do this again. Because I'm interested now. As to whether we can even do it at this point. Let's, uh, let's grab our buff. And yeah, and we'll go with we'll go with the pirates. So let's make sure we got two of them. So we've got two pirates. 
We've got one Nimbus rod there. One there. Okay, and we'll put the Aura Staff down here. We'll see how we do. Yeah, those little pirates are great for the uh, for the foot soldiers, at least. Do you know what was probably uh, killing us, though? Come to think of it. It was more than likely the uh, the enemies that explode. That's probably what killed the uh, the Eternia Crystal so fast. Man, do you know what I would really like? Dungeon Defenders on the Nintendo Switch. And, uh, and I spoke to the people that make Dungeon Defenders about it. And I was like, guys, for real. I was like, can we get... Dungeon Defenders on the Nintendo Switch because I like everything on the Nintendo Switch in reality. Some of my favorite games are on the Nintendo Switch right now and they were like, well, we can't really because the game's free and obviously Nintendo don't want you giving away a bunch of free games on their platform which is strange, but it's true. And then also, Nintendo are not that happy with uh, online games in general. You know, they like, to, they like to really control what online games go out there. So, Bit of a shame, really. I would, I would have loved that. Not gonna lie. I've got some absolutely. Yeah, I'm eating mushrooms essentially right now, in game. You know, there's, I've got no potions. Okay, those guys must have run up on this side so far. No. Yeah. I, do you know what? I just don't have the summons or anything like that to make this event kind of work right now. I think I'd need to do it when I was a little bit more powerful to really get a good go out of this. Javelin throw a get out of here. Oh my god. When they notice you, I love the sound. It's like, you gonna die. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I can't even make it through two waves properly. Oh my god, no. Get away. <laughs> oh god. It's when they clock you and they start speeding up. You're like, yep, this is it. Get away. Come on. Come on now. I'll take these little health potions. Oh my god. Okay. Let's reset the Nimbus rod. So we'll do one there. And we'll do one here. But I honestly don't think, guys, we're going to get a good shot of this, to be honest. Considering we're uh, not this great already. Oh, it's the flying ones that get you as well. The flying ones are the pain. Okay. Oh, no. Flying one on this side. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I got no chance of this. I do love this event, though. It is one of my favourites. Okay, back off, people. I do want to see how far we can get, though. Just kind of messing around. Zelda the Steampunk has arrived. Oh, that's awesome, because I needed the... Uh... Oh, what are conveyor belts? I mean, wait, I always forget. It's not the Steampunk who sells conveyor belts, or is it? I can never remember whether it's the engineer or the Steampunker that sells them. And I was thinking we could use some conveyor belts for this, to be honest, to uh, to get our crystals a little bit better. No, don't kill it. <laughs> yeah, at least let me live three waves, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a real struggle. I ain't gonna make it past this bit, am I? Oh, uh, you know what? I'll pose for the thumbnail here. There we go. That's my thumbnail. Oh God. Oh, the dinosaurs? I don't remember the dinosaurs. Drakens, apparently. Okay, I just keep knocking... No, I keep knocking this in. Yeah, this is at the end of our event. <laughs> well, we gave it a good shot. You should get some medals for at least trying. You should get some sympathy medals. I mean, come on. I need some sympathy medals or I'm never going to be able to do that event. Right, well, I'm going to end today's episode there, guys. Bit of a weird one, to be honest. Uh, but we got a lot done, in a way, because we actually did all the events I wanted to do. We just didn't uh, win one of them. <laughs> right, so, see you all in the next one, guys. Make sure to check the links down below for the Oxcast thing, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>